So as I mentioned in <clears throat> vid 3, I, I go back over there and I, I pick up some military medals and some more knives and a couple tools and just the, this and that kind of stuff. Photo but, booth uh, where we take a lot of our eBay pictures. And so I go back to that set. and I pick up some knives and miscellaneous. <clears throat> Nothing too valuable. There's a big piece uh, I may send someone back to get later. And I pick up this little coin, uh, $20 gold uh, miniature replica. Now some of these can be 22 carat pure, or I've seen them in 14 carat, and I've seen them in 10 carat. Now this one just happens to be um, gold plated, so not worth anything. On the back, it normally states what they are. Sometimes they're not marked. So, uh, surprisingly, you know, here it is, like, almost noon, and there's three grams uh, of marked 14 carat just laying there on the table. Uh, I don't know what they charged me for those, probably 50 cents or a buck a piece. So I was just throwing things in the bag and not looking at them much. And I didn't bring one in here, but all of us pickers are familiar with the like the band medals, um, orchestra medals uh, from all periods, uh, school medals that are worth nothing. And there was uh, a few of those scattered around, and, and this was scattered amongst them. And I, I seen the color of it, and I thought, uh, you know, this could be. Uh, a decent piece and I, I didn't pay much attention to it at the sale now when I was throwing it in my bag I seen this glimmer and the glimmer comes from the cut on the side of the engraving on the back and, and the engraving could be on the front it wouldn't matter which side it was on but as we've talked about before the engraving on a piece of gold will not tarnish down inside the engraving like it will on a piece of gold filled. So knowing that this was going to be like a dollar, I threw it in my bag, also knowing that at very least it had to be a uh, piece of gold filled. Now, when I caught that glimmer as I was throwing it in there, I pretty much knew what I was dealing with and didn't really give it too much thought. And after I get back home with it, I uh, inspect it, and I, I don't know if you can see it through there. And this is an unusual marking, but you do see it in the period from like 1885 to 1915. And uh, it's marked solid gold. And I've tested it, and it really it comes out about 12 carat. Sometimes these are 10 marked uh, solid gold. Sometimes they're 14. Uh, I, I don't think you can use a real solid rule on that. But And I've also seen things marked solid gold that weren't gold at all. But this here, and I didn't pay too much attention to it at the sale, I was just looking at the color hue and things like that. Now on the front, it is Purdue Athletics, uh, Purdue University Athletics, 1913. Once I got it back here and I seen that it was 1913, I, I knew I was uh, that had extra potential. And and I don't know if you can see and appreciate the color here, but it, there is a different. Uh, a hue to that that is a telltale but anyhow 20 pickers at least um, pretty good picker serious walked by this um, probably 10 collectors and maybe 20 30 yo yo-yos uh, that you know were just there to buy household goods or whatever and this thing was just laying there on the table for, you know, like two bucks max, I'm guessing. 
if you look at the thickness of it, tell that is tail a, sign as well, the thickness of this is uh, much thinner than one of those fake uh, high school medals might be. So, you know, watch for that thickness. Uh, mainly watch the color. Uh, the weight was a dead giveaway. I mean, this thing's 16 grams. Uh, on the back, it is uh, a baseball medal. 1911-1912 season. You know, I'm thinking this may be a saleable piece, but it's 300 bucks in gold as uh, scrap. So that's my late day find, and uh, so don't hesitate to go to sales late. It's best to go early. But showing up is better than not showing up at all. Someone told me one time that the only losers are the ones that don't participate. There's a lot of truth in that. Good buying. Thanks for watching. Believe it or not, my favorite piece of the day is this little picture of a, a group of kite makers look like kind of a kite making competition early 1900s and you know there's quite a few kite collectors now I guess these paper kites and uh, you know, this this could be good I think this is going to uh, sell high there again I, I don't know if this comes out but uh, I think this could be a, a neat piece it's uh fun one.